we're about to do a smart repair on this on this Gulf Stream. You can see by the scale. Valdemar's on the camera. This is the scale I'll give you, which is typical smart repair. Uh, it's maybe an inch in length, but it's on the forward left, so it's very important to actually capture this. What I'm going to be doing is at each level, we'll do a small a small video clip just to show you the, the build up, the stack up and everything else. And then we'll finalize with the kit itself to show you exactly what we needed to, to get this job done. The first thing we're gonna do on the uh, process would be uh, to wash, sand, uh, polish and wash. That's our first incremental change. Then we're gonna prepare this and on the next clip, you will see how we managed to secure a local repair with a, a perimeter tape, uh, just to keep things uh, away from the glass, etc. You can see the, uh, the repair in its entirety. Again, surface of sanded film, white, untouched film, perimeter tape, a little bit of paper around there just to stop any, anything, uh, any activity around the, the surface. And what I'm gonna be doing now is we've mixed the Express I'm going to be delicately filling this in to get opacity, but leaving this border um, un untouched, and obviously this one completely untouched. And you'll see where it's going to be a gentle feather to get this within this framework back to color. So I'm going to be doing that right now, if you stay on it. So we've adjusted the gun, here, very very fine, and within the space we're going to be starting the repair. You can see the first coat is over the repair. It's a very delicate repair, keeping the border un, unpainted. And then we'll be feathering out, uh, concealing this and getting it invisible into what we call smart. And then we'll, we'll cut them off, obviously. So that's the first coat. And we'll get back to you when the repair itself is done. Okay, this is the actual repair complete. It's still wet, of course. We've just completed this. But as you can see, it's uh, looks a perfect blend from the face. And we have to sand and polish around the edges. We do have the lamp in readiness to accelerate. Uh, just to discuss what we used for repair. We used the little mini jet here. And for even smaller areas, you have the airbrush, no lines. That's for rivets, any small seams, sealant seams, all inclusive. Comes with a small little five mil vessel, but we have the two uh, modes of application. And for this one, we use the, the small baby. So we've finished the uh, repair uh, somewhere here. Somewhere here. And uh, perfectly faded in. You can see the, the gloss, I suppose. Watch my finger. No hair, nothing. It's essentially disappeared very acceptable, considering we started with quite a deep scratch. Valdemar, what, uh, what, what are your thoughts? Can you stand over there and appraise? Uh, Is that uh, everything met so expectations? Yeah, I mean, blend. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10.
Thank you so much. Well, there we go from one smart repair and it's actually taking, would you say one hour actual working time? Uh, yeah, I would take one hour. One hour working time. So there we are. And we didn't affect the glass, no masking as such. Very localized, out the door. We have the Bondo board, of course, the gun. We've got the new sandable sealant here uh, in, in case there is a, a repair needed. We have a guide coat and this is the prep side to business. Depending on what you're finding, the lower the, the, the number, the, the, the heavier the grit. So these are the prep side. In this case, we finished with 320, which is a standard abrasive disc for refinish. Of course, we're supplying the tape. Uh, this is a small punch that we use to convert a three inch or a 16 inch dish to an inch disc because we have two sanders, we have a three inch and we have an inch D nibber. And with this punch, we can punch out any grade, any grit. And there it goes, it becomes a little localized DA. Previously discussed, we have the two spray guns. We've got the mini mini, which is for ultra small areas. We've got our baby gun cleaner, of course. Can't do without that. Uh, CMO, the 158. And also we have alkaline soap. This is, was for the washing and buffing. Two buffers at hand. We've got the air, big buffer. We've got the small one, battery pack. And again, the pad cleaner. We end up with a, a black foam. And these are the refinish sides. We go from 1,000 to 3,000. I'm hoping on this one to start finish with 3,000, which is the finest. And again, that can be cut down to the inch side using the punch. Filters, paper, tack rag, PPE and polish. So it's pretty <clears throat> comprehensive to get all of this done in a case to do any smart repair in any field. Any questions, uh, let, let me know.